Okay, now we've got this, uh, we're in the dining room, and we've got this wonderful French uh, clock, 18th century, and I've got Paul here beside me, uh, who's a guide uh, in this room today, and he's going to tell us uh, all about this clock. Okay, Paul? Yep, I will indeed. This clock has a marvellous story. The, the figures uh, tell a lovely story about a chap by the name of Lucius Quintus Cincinnatus. Um, first and foremost, Lucius Quintus Cincinnatus was a farmer, um, so we worked away on his farm, and at a time that Rome was being attacked by the barbaric tribes, he was approached and asked to lead the Roman legion, legions against the barbaric tribes that were attacking Rome. Reluctantly, he did this, and very successfully. And he was offered wealth and prestige, and he actually became a Roman emperor for a very short time, rather reluctantly, mm -hmm. before, before returning back to his farm. Now, the interesting thing about this is that George Washington had the same experience oh, yes. during the American um, War of Independence in the, in the 18th century. And George Washington was a farmer. He yes. was brought off his farm to lead the Continental Army. Yes. Um, and again, they offered him wealth and prestige, mm -hmm. uh, which he reluctantly took and became the first president of the United States. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we followed in the footsteps of Lucius Quintus Cincinnatus. I see. And Cincinnati is actually named after Lucius Quintus Cincinnatus. Oh, I see, in the, in the U.S. Yeah, in the U.S. Yeah. Yes, and, and I noticed there's something around the clock face, Paul. Oh, yes, it's good you, you pointed that out, because there is a snake, if you can see it quite clearly, there is a snake. I'm going to and see the snake, I zoom in. Yes. The snake is eating, eating its tail, which is yeah. a sign of immortality, which I means see. that Lucius Quintus Cincinnatus is there forever and a day. I see. And I see the clock now is going. Do they have a lot of the clocks in the house uh, going and ticking and yes, chiming? Yes, they, they had a, a chap um, who works with cl the mechanics of, of different clocks, and he was here, uh, was it last year, I believe, actually uh, getting all the clocks running again. Isn't that lovely? Yes, mm -hmm. it's lovely. It, 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 it makes it more like a home and more lived in. Very much so. Yes. Very well, thank you so. very much indeed for that very informative uh, a piece on this uh, lovely French clock. Thank you, Paul. You're very welcome.